Welcome back, you beautiful people. Say hello to my little friend. This is the Works Nitro Leaf Jet 12 volt with a four amp hour battery. Perfect for those autumnal months when they strike, you can blow all those leaves away. But what's gonna blow your mind is my idea to make this thing even better. So the wife said I need to invest in a leaf blower. And I said, yes, we do need one because I love my gadgets. So I got the Works Nitro Leaf Jet. Comes with a four amp hour battery, two turbo settings right here. It's very lightweight. Most of the weight is actually in the battery. You got an inlet here where it sucks it in. You got an outlet here which it thrusts out. You got two settings, volume and you got speed. Speed is gonna be my friend, but the thrust that this thing gives off is pretty extravagant. It's uh, 696 meters cubed an hour, which got me thinking, I need to do some maths. Equals 1.6 kilograms times W. W standing for works. So how many leaf blowers is it gonna take me to push a bike along with me on it? 1.6 kilos of thrust. That's quite a lot. My mind is fried. Let's get building. Oh, that guy's super switched on. Right, no credit to me for that. I asked on Instagram, can someone help me work, like work out the thrust that one of these can give and blah, blah, blah. And thanks to Flo on my Instagram for uh, giving me the equation for that. I can't, I wouldn't be able to work that out. I've been using a lot of steel in my work and um, it's no exception today. I've got some mild steel tubing. Now it's really small, thin stuff because weight is an issue because I'm gonna be propelling myself using leaf blowers. And a little bit controversial as well, I'm gonna be using my gravel bike. It's got curly bars. I'm not gonna be using my scalp. But this is lightweight, it's got fast rolling tires, which is key, they're narrow. And on the rear triangle, I got some bolt mounting bits to hold on panniers. So I'm gonna utilize those to hold the rack, which will hold leaf blowers. Leaf blowers, not just one, eight of them. Let me get them. of them. Look at that. So now is the tough task of trying to mount all eight of these to the back of the bike. But right, before we get carried away making the rack for these things, let's get these on charge because there's eight of them. Eight of them. So I'm thinking of mounting like this. Eight of them like that, like that. But then this will be on here like this. There. <laughs> Looks like crazy exhausts, dude. What does it feel like? <laughs> Your hat's gone! Home run for the hat! Wait, calm down. I think I was just cable tie it. Then, with the pop, just weld that on there. I think that'll, that'll work. It'll work. Oh, so I freaking switched on, I tell you. I've switched on. Died. My 
my time. It's my favorite time. It's welding time. First mounting bracket complete. Now to just copy and paste. Nick said, oh, it jumped, it jumped. It did actually jump. Looked at the replay of the slow-mo and uh, yeah, that was terrible. Can't really get in there. All right, I'm gonna clean that up and I'll do that again. Do that again. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to make a bracket that goes from these two bolt holes here all the way around and I'm going to basically make like a, a goal post around here so I can mount each one of these on there and mount the leaf blowers on. We did work out the full weight of what's going on the back of the bike. It's roughly 22 kilos, which is an e-bike. <laughs> It'd be fine! Same again the other side. Just gotta make sure it's level. How are you doing that? What's your method? Using my eyes. My eyes are pretty straight. That's about this, yeah. Right, now make sure it's level. Mm, it's a bit big. Hang on. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> can I fix it? Yes, we can. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Hopefully, I haven't ruined the pipe. Oh my gosh. Do this for the first time. Keep it, keep it in the same bend. Oh my gosh, it's going the other way. Anyway, too late to turn back. <laughs> oh, right, we got there in the end. Very Heath Robinson, like I've said. That guy's gonna go in there. That guy's gonna go in there. And yeah, and then this is going to be welded on there. Second favorite tool after the grinder. But this is bloody good, isn't it? Look at that. Clean cut. This is gonna be tricky. I think. I'll try it. It's about right, isn't it? Oh! Don't laugh, Nick. <laughs> you jinxed it. <sighs> doing right now is I'm going to brace it here so it gives it a little bit more structural strength even though these are going to they're going to be welded on here which will give it strength but I'm just going to add in a little bit more roundabout here because I've got some spare pipe so I'm going to weld that in there middle middle and then that should be good and then I'm going to put that on here Measure out the little gap I need here because I'm going to cut a little bit of pipe and then do it, do it. And then we'll mount the leaf blowers and then go 100 mile an hour down the road. <laughs> Q. 
Okay, now we're on to mounting these rocket connectors, <laughs> the leaf blower connector bracket Michigana. So I'm going to tack it on there and then I'm going to make sure it's level so it's not firing up and it's not firing to, to the floor. Someone did say that why don't you aim all of them down at the ground? Then it pushes against the ground to get you along. Yeah, makes sense. But you'll be, I don't know. And then someone said, fan them out like this. And I was like, no, nah, I think I'm just gonna fire them out because a rocket is literally just out. So, so I'm just gonna make them level. I'm gonna weld it there like that. Bring. Tack it. Tack it in. <laughs> oh, I love creating monsters. This is weird. This is weird, isn't it? This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. Look at this little nugget, huh? This little nugget is going to go in here. And that will space out the whole item so it doesn't basically hit on my cable here with the battery. And that will be 155. 150 for the hub. I'm going for 2.5 mil each side, just a bit more clearance. To be on the safe side because of all this up here. Anyway, I think that's it. I'm going to weld that in, weld the other one in there, make sure it's all straight and level, look at it, tack it, tighten it up, put the blowers in there. And then Full thrust ahead. Oh, look at that little elephant. I've never seen a world to do that. Nor have I, but it's got two ears, obviously, and a trunk. Obviously an elephant. Obviously, it's obviously an elephant. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of the elephant. <laughs> oh, dude, this is ridiculous. Look at the state of it. Oh. <laughs> Scientist, dude, with my uh, equation on the board, my rocket propelled bicycle. I actually, don't know how heavy it's gonna be. Oh my, well, it's not that bad. We need to pump these tires up rock hard, tidy up, and go out and blow this village up. Right, let's go give this thing a go. Literally just wants to do a wheelie, look. <laughs> How is it? It's incredible. <laughs> Evil Knievel, man. I could jump over this wall into those sheep. I'm getting a funny, getting a few dodgy looks though. I don't know why. Maybe because it's because of them. I think it's because of them. I think it's because of them. Anyway, I'm having fun. I'm not gonna be any speed records, but it's bloody good.
What a weird contraption and a crazy idea. It's something that has been boiling in my brain for a very long time and I finally got it to work. Well, I finally got works to, you know, part with eight leaf blowers. Thank you very much to them. But it was something I really wanted to do and I got the idea from Sam Pilgrim because he put this humongous fan on his back and I was like, oh my gosh, how, how, I want to do that. And I thought, hell, I think eight leaf blowers will do the trick. Now with a bit of maths and stuff and help from other people, worked it out, it got it, propelled me down the street, was incredible, sounds nuts. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content, some weird contraptions like this, let us know in the comments down below. With the power tools, just I love building stuff. Give me some ideas, give me some crazy ones. I'll hopefully do it and plan it in. On that note, I think I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea. A strong one, because this boiled my brain with that mathematics. See ya.